Hi, Comic Clan fam! Well, it is grocery haul time. It is the beginning of March. So this is our beginning of March grocery haul. We will have our entire month um, Walmart order and then our first week of HEB order we split it up because we have to buy so many groceries throughout the month and we of course have a lot of recipe ideas for you guys um, we are a large family and so we do have to buy a lot of groceries for our large family we were gone last month we did not do a grocery haul um, we decided to focus on our family that was in town instead but we have some exciting things and we are excited to be back. So this month, Emma is helping me a lot more than usual. Um, she really is interested in helping me plan out the meals and also help me with the grocery shopping now we do all of our grocery shopping online we just do pickup orders makes it so much easier um, so she sits down with me and uh, she loves going through the kitchen and saying okay we have this already so we only need one of these or we have this already and so we need just a couple of these or and she also loves doing a lot of cooking and baking so she is helping me out a lot more i'm really excited to have her come along this month um and so let's go inside and check out the groceries we are starting our grocery haul off with just a little mini one here to get us through today until we pick up our big order tomorrow so sean ran up to heb in town he got three loaves of bread some mayonnaise two things of bologna and some cheese singles so that is to make bologna sandwiches for lunch. We've got the milk, the waffles, so a 24 count big thing of waffles, and two packages of the brown and serve uh, sausage links along with some syrup. So in the morning the kids can have some waffles. Also, we have some peanut butter. Uh, the kids do love having peanut butter toast and some extra butter. Four lemons, Sean has been having lemon water. Um, we've got some straws. We were actually, we ran out of those if you can believe it. And then we have four energy drinks there. Um, two for tomorrow morning and two for today because we probably are going to need those. So this right here was $52.57. I'll be dead. All right, Conley Clan family, we are back with our grocery haul. And this is for the beginning of March. This is our first week of March HEB order. And we're gonna start over here. We have uh, yogurt for breakfast this time. So I got two of the Fair Life milks. We always double the recipe because there's so many of us. One sweetened condensed milk because I already had one. And one of the Greek yogurt. Um, I think we might have some starter from our last batch. I wasn't sure. I wanted to keep that in the fridge just in case. I always like the just in cases. And then I've got eggs because we can have all kinds of things with eggs. They are really expensive. We did get extra chicken, so hopefully in the next three to six months they will start laying eggs and we won't have to buy them anymore. So I've got two cartons of the 18 eggs and then one um, extra dozen of eggs. And the extra dozen is because Jade and Emma want to make some things and so I bought extra eggs so they could uh, bake some items this time. Also, along with our eggs, so we do like breakfast burritos, we do um, breakfast quesadillas, sometimes we do breakfast bombs. We do all kinds of breakfast things with eggs and sausage. So I always buy the links. Um, usually those are easier to cut up and put in things, like if we do a scramble or um, put in our breakfast burritos. And then I also get patties. So the patties are just if we're going to have just a regular egg. The kids like the over easy eggs. And then I will do um, eggs and sausage patties. We got oatmeal, old fashioned oats. So we will have oatmeal at least once. I do have one up in the cupboard, so we may have it twice. I already had some milk in the fridge uh, that Sean had ran up and grabbed. So I didn't need that this time. So oatmeal will be one of our breakfasts. Peanut butter, we got a big jar of peanut butter and that is for peanut butter toast. <laughs> if you guys can hear Logan in the background, he is sure vocal today. <laughs> um, okay, so along with the peanut butter, I've got two uh, loaves of bread there. We do have some bread in the cupboard that Sean also grabbed when he did a real quick run up to HEB in town. So two loaves of bread for toast, and then I've got two kinds of bagels here, a plain and a blueberry. We have kids that like different kinds, and I also have some cream cheese that I got from Walmart, which will be up next. 
So then uh, also, these are our, that was our breakfast. Uh, oh, one last thing for breakfast. We already have the stuff and that is pancakes. Emma asked if she could make those. And so of course I said yes. The kids would love to have pancakes in the morning. Um, next for our lunches. So we are gonna have some sandwiches. I do have a, th a big thing of ham here. It's the mega pack. And then I've got three cheeses, the Colby Monterey Jack, the cheddar, and the provolone, because I have kids that like different kinds. Of course, when you have sandwiches, you have to have chips, and I just bought our three regulars this time. So this is our loaded baked potato, this is our sour cream and onion, and then these are our original. So we will do that, and then also, along with the sandwiches, I am going to make BLTs. So Emma was like, Mom, we already have a bacon in the freezer. We only need one extra bacon and some lettuce. Um, why don't we do that? Oh, and we can't forget, of course, the tomatoes that go with that. <laughs> So we have two heads of lettuce. We have one thing of tomatoes on the vine. And then I only had to get one package of bacon since we already had one. So we are gonna make some BLTs. Also for me for lunch, I enjoy having salads. And sometimes I like them simple and sometimes I buy a lot of stuff for them. But I'm just gonna make them simple this week. So with that lettuce, I will make some salad. I've got some bacon bits, I've got some ranch dressing, and I got a cucumber. We actually have some kids that like eating cucumber just plain. Um, so Gavin and Elena and Lily, all three of them, they love cucumbers with nothing on them. <laughs> so I find that very interesting. Also, Rosie is having a birthday this week and she has requested pepperoni sandwiches. So I've got one package of pepperoni slices. We do have half a bag in the fridge still. Um, I got some mozzarella cheese. I like buying the slices to put on the sandwiches because it's so much easier to do the slices on those sandwiches. So we are having pizza sandwiches. And then Gavin's favorite, and he requested to have meatball subs. So I've got a large pack of the hot dog buns, it's a 16 count. I've got the meatballs here. These are the really big ones, so a lot of times we'll cut those in half. And I already had the marinara sauce. So um, we will have meatball subs. And then one of the things Emma requested, and she did help me a lot this week. Um, she had all kinds of ideas for grocery shopping this week. So we've got um, beef and cheddars. So we've got two packages of the roast beef. And then I've got the big can of the gourmet nacho cheese. We use that a lot on our chips. And we also use it for the sandwiches. And then, of course, a 16 pack, a large pack of the hamburger bun. Then, just for an easy lunch, we've got some pizza snacks here, pizza rolls. Um, Emma actually had that on her list, and so did I. So we were thinking the same. And then when the kids have those, um, Sean and I don't eat those. So we also have some pot stickers here that Sean and I do love eating. And that will just be um, probably one of those days where I'm tired of having a salad, and uh, we'll make this stuff instead. Now, moving on to our dinners. So first, we're starting out with Doritos casserole. We've only made this once, but everybody loved it. And so we are going to make it again. So I've got a big bag, party size of the nacho cheese. Um, they're just like Doritos, but not name brand. And then I've got the jalapeno one. So we do two batches. We'll do one with nacho cheese and one with jalapeno because we do have a lot of kids that like spicy. We've got a can of cream of chicken, a large can of that, and some diced green chilies, and also some corn. I think the corn goes in here. Um, otherwise, it might just be an extra can of corn. Um, and then rotisserie chicken, which goes in this meal, not ground beef, if you can believe it. And the kids, okay, so we just love this. I can't wait to have this. We're going to actually have this tonight. Um, and it makes it so much easier having that rotisserie chicken in there. Um, and it is so good, guys. You guys have to try it. I will make sure to link this one. I'm going to link everything. If, if I remember, sometimes I forget. But um, for sure, guys, if you don't see this one, ask me because you need this recipe. Then... Emma asked if she could make stromboli. Um, we do a lot of pizza nights, but she really had fun making the stromboli. So we've got the mozzarella shredded cheese. We've got two packages of the pepperoni slices and a package of the salami. So we all love stromboli too. So I am excited for that meal. And then uh, another one of our favorites, and I think Rosie kind of really likes this one. Um, and it is our goulash. So two or three cans, three cans of the tomato juice. I've got two pounds of ground beef and a large package, 32 ounces of elbow noodles. Next is macaroni and cheese homemade. Okay, 
This is what Rosie requested for her birthday dinner. The kids all love this meal. I think sometimes it needs a little extra cheese in it because it's a little bland, um, but we do throw in a different kinds of cheese and um, sometimes we'll even throw in the nacho cheese and that actually helps a little bit. So I've got heavy whipping cream, just a, um, a half of one here. I've got the easy melt cheese. I've got um, 32 ounces of the elbow macaroni. And then, like I said, we'll use probably some of the nacho cheese. It also takes like flour and butter and things like that we already have. So that will be a dinner night. And then next up here, we're gonna go right here. And this is ham and hash brown casserole. So my ham is in my Walmart order. I've got the hash browns, the cream of chicken, and then it also does take some of this mild cheddar cheese. And honestly, every single recipe on here, I believe has cheese in it. So the shredded cheddar. So I actually ended up getting two bags cause we always seem to run out. So I got two bags and they're large bags. They are 32 ounce bags of shredded cheddar. Um, so that just tells you how much cheese we use. Then an easy dinner night is going to be tacos. So I've got the ground beef, two pounds of ground beef. Uh, the tortillas, which we could also use these um, for our breakfast burritos because it is a pack of 50. And then uh, the sour cream, and this goes on all kinds of things. So I've got four cartons of the sour cream and we'll use that probably on just about everything here as well. I do know that one of these sour creams goes in the ham and hash brown casserole and that's what kind of helps to make it creamy. Next, another Mexican night that we're going to have is nachos. So I do have four party bags of the restaurant style tortilla chips. And then here are all our toppings. We do and we do oven baked nachos now because we like them better. We put on salsa, jalapenos, olives, the uh, mild diced tomatoes with green chilies. We usually use one can for each uh, sheet, uh, sh cookie sheet <laughs> that we use. I got an extra can just in case. Uh, the guacamole seems to be a big hit, so we got that. And some black beans. The black beans, um, we do sometimes on our oven baked nachos. Uh, I do have another can of those black beans in the pantry. Um, I do think that one of those might go in our Doritos casserole too. So then I've got the two pounds of ground beef that go on our nachos. Of course we use the nacho cheese in our nachos as well. And again, I always say I like when I can buy something and it has multiple uses. Just makes it so much more convenient. Those are our dinners for this week. Now we're on to snacks. So I did get three bo um, boxes of the apple fruit grain bars. Most of our snacks are in our Walmart order. I got some applesauce, I've got some blueberries. Um, these, the kids all love, but really I've been giving these to Logan and he loves these. So he is now eating regular food, things that are soft, pastas and um, oh man all kinds of he's loving it guys so then I've got a bag of the mandarin oranges I've got two bags of apples I've got one bag of carrots now remember we do go back every week um, for our HEB orders so I do always buy more fruits and veggies every week Emma she said mom I am going to bake this week so please buy me four bags of <laughs> of flour and so that is what I did I got four bags of flour because our entire bucket of flour is empty and then she said mom and I also need lots of butter <laughs> so I got her um, uh, four packages of the four sticks of unsalted butter then uh, we, we're gonna try a couple different barbecues so I got two different barbecue sauces to try Jade wanted the Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. Uh, that is a hit here, the Chick-fil-A sauce. Usually we have this kind. Um, and so now we're going to try the Polynesian sauce. Let me, get, let me know if you guys have had it and if you guys like it. Then our olive oil cooking spray, an extra thing of mayonnaise, and then these lentils here. Okay, um, one of my friends sent me a YouTube short and it was putting lentils in water and letting them soak and then letting them grow like over the next couple days and feeding them to your chickens. And I thought that was genius and we are going to do that. So I'm gonna, I will show you guys that when we do it and we will see if it works for us.
Last, my order was so big that I had to use my bench. <laughs> so I did get some bananas over here also. Those are for snack. They could go on our yogurt, um, just for anything. Also, I give a lot of bananas to Logan. He really loves bananas, and they are actually Christian's favorite too. He is, Logan is still taking the bottle. So we have two of the baby waters, distilled water is what it is. And then I've got some baby wipes, a package of three. These Duracell batteries, because um, Sean, needed the LR44s. I don't think they sell those anymore. So I had to look this up and this is the exact same thing. So we've got those. The Azalea Bloom, the kids love this when they do dishes. They said it smells so good. Um, it says limited edition and I hope they keep it around because that is the best smelling soap. Some coffee K-cups because we have to have some morning coffee. When you have this many kids, you need a lot of energy. <laughs> so uh, we use coffee in the mornings. Then Jade said, Mom, I would love to make you some zucchini bread. Could you please buy me two zucchinis? And I said, yes. The kids are really getting into cooking this week. We should really be filming a lot of that so you guys can see them. Um, a sweet potato. Logan likes sweet potato. We don't puree it anymore. We just mash it up and give it to him avocado as well that was another good thing on the list to give um, babies his age he is 10 months old now and last for the heb order we have our 12 pack of monster energy like i said not only do we have coffee in the morning but we need energy drinks <laughs> when you have uh 11 kids in the house you need lots and lots of energy and then we have the paper towels that Sean likes using. And we have the um, toilet paper, the mega, mega pack, uh, because I needed to stock back up. And this right here for the first week of HEB order was $493.29. This is our Walmart order. We do our Walmart order once a month only. And uh, usually we really don't go back to Walmart much other than that. So we got some ramen here. So I got hot and spicy chicken. That is the favorite in the house. I got 12 of those. I probably would have gotten more if they would have let me. But the max is 12 when you're ordering online. And we do all, our, all of our ordering online. I've got the chicken ramen. And I ended up getting eight of those. Two, four, six, eight. Yes because um, the kids do love those. Those are for the kids that don't like the hot and spicy, which is usually Charlie. And then I also have the hot and spicy beef. That's Emma's favorite. I only got eight of those as well. Now, we don't normally do a whole lot of can and ramen and things like that. We do have it in the cupboard for the month when we hit those days where we just need something quick. So we also got the Chester Cheetah Mac and Cheese. I've got um, six of those and then the kids like all different kinds of the mac and cheese so that's why we buy it this way I got four cans of the mac and cheese this kind and then back here this is Christian's favorite he loves to pull these out of the cupboard and say I want some mac and cheese and so um, I do have a couple still in our pantry so I went ahead and only got eight of them the microwave mac and cheese right here then Gavin, if you guys have been around a while, you know I have trouble getting him to eat. And so I bought him three cans of chili because I know that is something that he likes and something that he will eat. And then the beef ravioli is the same thing. I bought four cans of the uh, mini beef ravioli because I know he will eat that also. Then for our bagels that we have um, in our HEB order, I've got the brown sugar and cinnamon and the strawberry cream cheese. I have not found found I have not been able to find those at HEB, so I get them from Walmart instead. And then we do have some regular cream cheese that actually Lily likes, since she prefers the regular. Then I have two of the Hormel completes, the chicken breast with mashed potatoes. Those are for when the kids have like a lunch that I don't eat. Um, like for instance, if we do pizza rolls or something like that, I don't eat those. Uh, also I try not to eat this stuff because I obviously, I don't think it's healthy for you, but there are those days where I just need something really quick. And so then I also have two cans of soup, uh, creamy chicken noodle and a spicy chicken quesadilla. Those are my two absolute favorite soups from Campbell's. And then uh, I got the honey roasted peanuts. Those are Sean's favorite. He likes having those as a snack sometimes in the evenings. And then of course the kids all like to join in and have those with him. 
And then I got, um, you know, I've noticed that some of the snacks are actually a little bit cheaper at uh, Walmart. And so I have been trying to just stock up a little bit because we go through a lot in a month because we have a lot of kids. So I did get these family size, uh, great value cheddar cheese crackers, and I bought three boxes of those. I don't normally buy them from HEB because they are quite a bit more expensive. And same thing with the granola bars, although I will buy granola bars from HEB, but um, I find that they are almost a dollar cheaper at Walmart. So I went ahead and got four of the family packs of the variety granola bars. And then we also love eating popcorn here. And so I do usually get popcorn from HEB, but they do not have the cheese kind. And the big cheese is our favorite. So I got three boxes of the big cheese popcorn. And then just one box of the extra butter that has 12 bags. And then if we need more, I will get that from HEB. I ordered our, usually they're orange crackers, and I think they might have peanut butter in them. Or maybe they're orange crackers with cheese. I can't remember. But they did not have them this time. And so they gave us these, which are called grilled cheese, which the kids thought were very interesting. And one of them said, uh, yeah, no. And the other one said, uh, I'll try it. So I ended up getting two boxes of those. For a dinner, one of these nights, we are going to grill. And uh, probably be next week. But I did get the cheddar cheese and bacon grillers. Uh, Sean and I really like these. Uh, they are very good and so I got two boxes of those. So usually I get one box uh, but I got two boxes just in case everybody wants to try one this time. Uh, the pepperoni and cheese filled sandwiches. I got three boxes of those. I have I think three kids that like those. Um, that really isn't a, a lot for a month but uh, we don't buy those very often. It just kind of sits in the freezer until we have one of those days where we're just doing an easy day. And then it is Rosie's birthday coming up here in about five days. I can't believe it. And she requested a special cake that Emma's going to make for her. Um, so we did need this cocoa powder, which I actually bought Dutch, but they did not have it. So they substituted. Ugh, but I hope that this is good cocoa powder. And then we did get some dark chocolate. I actually have two bars here um, and that goes in her cake. And then coconut flakes. Emma loves making coconut bread. She has not made it in a really long time. I know she's dying to make it, but we do have a little container that we keep our coconut flakes in. So I bought her an extra bag for that. And then we do have oyster soup crackers for a snack. The kids love them. So I went ahead and got three bags. They are the little mini crackers. It's not going to be long. I'm telling you. And Logan's going to be eating those. It's crazy to think. Uh, then we have the diced ham that is for one of our dinner meals this week. I've got the chipotle sauce because uh, this is just a backup, but the kids do love having that on their sandwiches. And then I've got the grenadine. We are not going to do the uh, Shirley Temples this week, but I think maybe next week we're going to do those as a treat again. And then I got an extra Lawry's because we were about out um, our cornstarch and then the ranch seasoning packets. I do usually buy the four um, because... Uh, some of the meals we have call for those and then also I like to make the ranch dip in the sour cream. Jade, she was like, Mom, can you please get me some kosher salt? I want to make homemade pretzels. And so that is what that is for. She's going to be making those. She's been begging me for days. <laughs> I'm like, it's coming in my Walmart order. <laughs> and then the vanilla caramel creamer. I cannot get that at HEB. They do, they do not have vanilla caramel. Uh, and so usually we'll get just regular vanilla. But when I go shopping at Walmart, I like to get that kind because we like that in our coffee. The animal crackers. The kids really like the taste of these better. So I went ahead and bought three of the really large bags of those. I've been getting two and they're gone within a week. So I went ahead and got another bag. Then down here we have um, pull-ups. So pull-ups for Christian. Those are just nighttime pull-ups. And then these pull-ups are also for Christian. They're daytime pull-ups. I got three bags. I was hoping I wouldn't have to be buying these anymore, but I'll tell you what. Uh, th these three bags will probably last me two months because he is doing so well that um, I, he's just not going through them very much. The only thing, the only reason I'm putting him in these is because um, I was having to clean a lot of undies and I was like, oh, I really don't want to be doing that all the time. And I, uh, I know sometimes that helps actually with, with them, but he didn't seem to mind as much walking in those. So we went back to the training pants, but 
I'm really excited because I don't think it's gonna be long and we'll, we probably won't have to buy these much anymore, except for maybe the nighttime ones. And then the disinfecting wipes, just an extra, the big soap, Elena cleans the bathroom, uh, one of the bathrooms, and she said we needed some more of those, that. And then this scrubber right here, we just threw away one of our scrubbers, it was all scrubbed out. And so we got another one. Then the apple cider vinegar, um, we used this in the um, hog meat that we made and also I use that sometimes at night as it's kind of like a little health remedy. The dial soap that goes in our kitchen sink, the deodorant, uh, I actually had a lot of backups for everybody except for that one. Uh, some extra ibuprofen, some extra children's pain reliever, the toothpaste that Sean and I use, uh, some extra razor blades, and then my extra shampoo and conditioner. This is what I use. Jumbo cotton balls. We uh, used all, we still have some, but we are out of our bag of them. They are just in our little container in our bathroom. And then the kids shampoo, the kids conditioner. Oh, and then we have some batteries. These are just a backup. These right here are for the pottery machine that uh, my mom sent to the kids and Lily has been dying to use it and I did not have batteries and so that is for the pottery machine and she is so excited to start doing that then I've got the laundry detergent um, another thing of bath tissue because we go through a lot so I always like to keep um, a big one and well one in each of the two bathrooms and then we borrow some for the third bathroom <laughs> The Huggies diapers, those are obviously for Logan. Pretty soon I'm only gonna have one in diapers and I actually am very excited about that. A little sad, but pretty much very excited. And then the copy paper, we are almost out. This topper right here, this is the kids' favorite, they said, thing about the whole entire order. And it is their treats because at the end of the day, if they have marked off everything on their list, they get a little treat. And so I bought uh, these little candy bars these Starburst Pops, which the kids love these. I think they're their favorite. And then the Caramel Apple Pops. This right here was $399.18. There is one thing that is not here that is on its way, and it is a large caress body soap, but that is the only thing that's missing. Okay, well that is it for the beginning of March grocery haul. Um, I do feel like we spent quite a bit this time, um, but we did. I did have to do a lot of like restocking on things like condiments and things that we were out of, and so we will see how I can do for the rest of the month. Um, you know, I always like to try to save money. If I can't, no biggie. I just, I like to try, and uh, especially with prices being the way they are, so. Um, okay, we are gonna see if we can get creative and have some good, delicious, easy meals this month that don't break the bank. <laughs> but this time, for our first uh, week of HEB order, and then our monthly Walmart order, uh, we spent $945.04. So again, I think that's a little bit more than normal, but we will see. That's usually about half of what we spend. So when we do this first grocery haul of the month, um, it is usually half of our budget. So we will see how we end up because we have been getting usually pretty close to $2,000 a month. So we will see. But thank you for coming along on our grocery haul. I hope you guys got some good meal ideas, dinner ideas, breakfast, lunch ideas, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.